Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the tabstat command in Stata to create customized statistical tables. Now, the easiest way to learn something is just by doing it. So I'm going to show you the code that I'm using, and I'm going to create an actual table for you here. Then I'm going to show you what you can do to modify that table to meet your own needs. So the first thing I've done with my code here is I'm calling up census13, which is a Stata data set on the web. Then using the tabstat command, I've isolated DVC rate, which is the divorce rate. And in a, mo in a moment, I'm going to show you the actual data set so you can verify that that is a variable within it. Then using this command for stat and the parentheses here, I have specified a whole number of things that I want information on. So I want to know the number, uh, I want to know n. I want to know the mean, minimum, maximum. I got the median over here, my 25th and 75th percentiles, standard deviation, skewness, and kurtosis, all at the same time. These are the biggest things that you'd want to see in a table of this kind, and I've, I've kind of pulled them up for you. Um, you might ask, well, why not just use the summarize command or the summarize detail command? And that's, that's great. Absolutely, you should. But one of the useful things here with the tabstat command is you can just enter what you like. So let's say that I'm only interested in the median. I'm not interested in kurtosis or skew. I'm not interested in n. I'm just interested in min, uh, the mean, the minimum, maximum, standard deviation, and the median. There, now I've produced that. And I could go ahead and do that for more than one variable if I choose to. A DVC rate is just one. A marriage rate is another one that's in the data set. And so now using the same command, uh, I've added another variable and I can kind of compare them side to side. I just did want to show you that marriage rate and divorce rate, by the way, are variables that are, you know, within this data set. If you need to replicate this, uh, you know, this code here, you would just insert whatever variable name that you um, are working with. So anyway, I think this is a great, I, I don't want to call it an alternative to summarize and to other means of getting these kinds of descriptive statistics and stata. I just think of it as really handy when you're interested in just maybe a handful of statistics and you just want to generate some quick tables to get some insight into what's going on and you want to have the freedom to move in and out the different stuff that you're interested in uh, and maybe come up with you know combinations that you wouldn't get like, for example, if you go to summarize detail, you're, you're not going to have an easy opportunity to just isolate maybe the three or four or five statistics that you want to look at. You're going to get everything. So this is a good alternative to that. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.